Good afternoon, everyone. Hey, this is Bruce Marshall from Simpler Trading with the nightly video update for Wednesday, the 5th of August. And we'll start on the S&P and take a look at what we've got going. Um, we had actually a pretty, pretty calm day as things go in the S&P. We're looking at the S&P right here. Um, pretty calm, pretty tight range there all day long. Chop, chop it around, chop, chop, chop. But uh, what this doesn't really show you is the, let me pull this off to the side. Um, what this doesn't really show is the gap we had overnight here and the run we had off of this low. And in, in fact, let me back this out to a five day chart. So it's only five days and we were, this is last, uh, last actually last Wednesday here and last Thursday so five days we were at 32.04 here and uh, so we have come up a hundred and what is that 26 points or something like that basically off this low in you know in four trading days pretty pretty strong move and you can see look at this move right here and we had another one right here and what's interesting is I've got my voodoo lines up here currently and what you can see is that we get to a point this is a snow line right here and we just chop around on these lines um, you can go back here and we're you know we continue to continually cross you know back and forth these lines a lot of times they'll hold exactly and sometimes they don't um, on larger time frames they most of the time do but here for two days we chop 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 just back and forth back and forth trying to make a decision which way we're going to go we're going to fail and come this way or we're going to go higher and of course now we have our decision we just you know completely ripped higher today and then we chop 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 and i've got a micro line here and um so we're just kind of sitting here and what are we waiting on we are waiting on the announcement of an agreement for the stimulus package part two i guess and we're also waiting on payrolls um, now we had uh, adp numbers that were not good today um, we had um, let's see the expected number was uh, 1 million jobs and it turned out to be we only had uh, 167 thousand jobs added versus 1 million that's not good we still went higher doesn't matter um, Trump tweeted that we got a big jobs number coming on Friday non-farm payrolls report is Friday that is a big it is a big deal. It is a market moving deal. Um, I have no idea what those numbers are going to look like. Apparently Trump feels pretty good about it uh, to, you know, to say that. And maybe that's why we, you know, while we're higher today. But um, again, even if we knew the exact number, we wouldn't know how the market's going to react to it. So, you know, I'm kind of, we're kind of in limbo here. So let's go out on a longer term basis here look at kind of see where we are um, as you can see let me take these off real quickly take the dailies off okay so as you can see the white line is our snow line we came up to this um, approach this didn't quite get to it failed came back into the lower snow line I'm sorry that's a snow line that's a snow line um, bounced off this and just took it right out so the next stop is all-time high there and we're not that far away from it honestly I mean we've moved a hundred and roughly 126 points in four days and now we are about what is that about 70 points away you know we could be there yeah, we could be there tomorrow I don't know I do have some resistance above us I've got fib levels Fibonacci levels on the ES at uh, 3341 on the ES so that's about 20 points higher 25 points higher something like that um, as far as some resistance so we may not go directly up there I've got a couple of levels above us here to before we get this all-time high but uh, I'm not ruling anything out because again it's just a hop skip and a jump to get there and then you know we could the payroll numbers could be the catalyst to get us up there or the um, 
the agreement is supposed to be reached by the end of the week for the uh, new stimulus money, you know, another trillion or two, whatever the number is that uh, gets put into the economy and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, we have to understand kind of what's driving this. We're in a Fed-induced huge liquidity event with money just falling out of the sky. And, you know, it does go into the economy, so it does make a difference. And, you know, the liquidity is there. Uh, but, you know, my caution is that, you know, we don't know if this is a sugar high or not. And what happens, you know, when reality sets in is this, so we come back down. I think we could easily come back down. Also, when we get here, um, do is this going to be a lot? Of, in most cases, you don't break through this initially. You come here, hit this and fail and come back down to some level, probably at snow line or somewhere there and try to try to make another run at it uh, before you get through the all time high. Um, you know, again, I'm just basing that on past experience, you know, what I've seen, but, and we have no way to know, but, uh, but don't be, you know, don't be surprised if we get there soon. And the hardest thing for me to do right now is to, you know, smile and, and buy this thing. Cause it's just, we're, we're, we're pretty extended. We've been extended. We, we continue to be extended. We know why it's going up. Um, you know, but there's no, reason to fight this and we have no sell signals at all if you look at any of the different um, tools that we have here you know there's there's nothing this is nothing but bullish you know we're breaking out of the top of the darvis box propulsion dots are turning up even the moving averages are turning up this looks very 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 bullish right well it looked bullish right here too if you didn't if you didn't see on the other side of that line you know, buy, 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 buy everything, buy everything you can buy. Just don't, just close your eyes and buy it, buy it, buy it. And then we slam all the way back down into the moving averages where at some point we will. And that's about 3,200. And, you know, the question is, do we keep going up here before we slam down or do we slam down and then try it again? You know, and nobody knows. But for now, there's no reason to be on the wrong side of this. And this just continues to look up. And especially, this is Wednesday, so especially for the next couple of days, you know, it, it wouldn't, I, I would welcome a pullback tomorrow and then we get payrolls on Friday and maybe we move higher. Um, it's not going to surprise me when we pull back because we're kind of overdue for one right now. But again, we just want to keep looking higher. And I've been, it's getting harder and harder to find things that look, um, that look good because everything is so extended. If you look at Apple and Facebook and you know, all that they're, they're uh, Roku, uh, et cetera. And I, I just realized Roku reported after the close today, but anyway, um, all the tech stock that have been driving the market are really, really, really extended. So it's hard to find anything. Um, I did start a little long in Micron technology today in the main room. Um, and I think that makes sense. Google's looking pretty interesting probably Netflix, probably Amazon. But, uh, but again, we've got to wonder how much gas is left in the tank, um, at least, you know, for some of these stocks. And, and I do continue to want to play everything higher, but again, I'm, I'm becoming a more and more cautious bull as we go higher and higher and higher. So that is what I've got. Um, be careful the next couple of days. And, you know, I, depending on what happens with payroll numbers and depending on what happens with this package, the um, stimulus package, um, that could be the next catalyst to, you know, to, to get us up higher. So be aware of that. Do not, don't try to short this thing. Um, so that's what I got. I'm, I'm pretty light on trades. I've got about two or three trades on and I'm light again and um, I'm trading, but I'm, my trades are pretty short term. I'm in and out in three, four, five days. And, um, I'm not trying not to take much directional risk here. So um, I'm sitting on a lot of cash, just waiting, watching for opportunities. And um, we will see what we get by the end of the week. So I hope this helps, makes sense. And I will see you guys at the next update. Thanks. Take care.